Now, some NBA players have cheap cars. No way. That's your car? Yeah. But other players have some of the craziest cars you'll ever see. From cars only worth a dollar, all the way up to five million dollars, every NBA player is driving something different. And starting with the cheapest car an NBA player owns, uh, I'm honestly surprised it hasn't broken down yet. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard's the only hundred millionaire I've heard of who's driving something that's worth a McChicken. And honestly, I'd rather spend my money on that than pay for his 1997 green Chevy Tahoe. Not only is it nicknamed the gas guzzler because it only gets 12 miles to the gallon, Kawhi's excuse for still driving it is that he's humble, it runs, and it's paid off. To me, he's just weird. So let's move on to cars worth way more than a dollar. Because Steph Curry bought the ugliest car you'll ever see just to prank his best friend. I'm gonna prank one of my best friends, Co Seezy. He thinks he's on an Infinity set to do a commercial shoot and give his honest feedback on this concept car, but it is literally the ugliest car you've ever seen. So basically, just try to get you know your kind of reactions to what it looks like and whatnot, and just try to be as as big as you can. Blueprint as possible. Like I'm just really excited to show you, show the whole world. You know, without further ado, we'd love to get your eyeballs on it. Just tell the world how dope it is. So. Let's see what you're talking about. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> This joint right here. Yo. Three wheels, obviously. That's dope. The gas mileage is crazy, too. And you don't have to change the tires that often, either. Mm-hmm. I think with that camera being, like, really tight on you, just make sure you're, like, almost, yeah, it should be bigger. Nah, it's yeah, I got bigger. you. Yeah, without further ado, uh -huh. this is, uh, this is the feature right here. Let's see. This is it. Wait, hold up. This is spaceship, bro. <laughs> so let's do it again. <laughs> Just even bigger reaction. What? <laughs> what? That's like so crazy. I might have to take those back. Yeah. You know why? Why? We got you, bro. <laughs> what you mean? Now, Steph's friend might have been acting hype like this was a masterpiece, but it's really just a vehicle known as a G04. It's usually used by people who think they're cops and drive it around to give out parking tickets. Now, at least Steph got his a complete makeover just to have it looking like it was from outer space. And that's probably why it cost him $3,000. But Dwight Howard's car wasn't only 20 times more expensive. It came from a superhero. Oh. Dwight's been known to not only have a superhero fetish, but also customize his cars to look like his idols. There's this three-wheeled bike that matches Superman. What's the fastest you've ever taken it? 170. He's even got a Rolls-Royce Cullinan to match Thanos. Purple car because of Thanos. Ah. I'm the Avengers. Yeah, he's my favorite character. Yeah, I'm not gay. But his craziest car is something hella fast that matches the Flash. Dwight's Hellcat is red and yellow, just like his hero. It's also got custom rims that light up, demon headlights, and even Flash's lightning bolt on the hood. On the inside, there's also Flash floor mats, Flash seats, and Flash-colored leather. Unfortunately, though, the Flash wasn't able to save Dwight some cash. It still cost him $65,000. And even though Dwight's cars came straight out of a comic book, LaMelo Ball's car wasn't only double the price. He brought a car from GTA into real life. Now, at first the man just copped a plain Jane Hummer EV, but he pulled this thing into Los Santos Customs, or DreamWorks Motorsports, where they turned it into this. They turned this Hummer into a one of one. Literally, that's why it says one of one on it. It's also wrapped in camo and is everything LaMelo, from emblems all over the truck that matches brands, to custom orange rims, a lift kit, underglow, they even gave the interior a complete makeover. For something really nice, we wanted to change it up. We did all of his tattoos, so all of these are LaMelo's personal tattoos. All Alcantara and leather interior. We did some custom Alcantara right here with the LF logo. Siren box in here with a PA system. We also put train horns on it. Having a Hummer this custom gets LaMelo recognized everywhere. Like, that's how fans filmed him driving it illegally. Wow, man's really out here running red lights and almost causing accidents? That could have gotten him fined $100. But adding a few zeros onto that to make it 100000 that's how much LaMelo's Hummer itself cost. So I'm sure you don't give a shit. But Aaron Gordon's car not only costs even more, it's actually waterproof. See, Gordon got himself a little Aston Martin. And 
His custom brake calipers with his logo on them are probably the least crazy thing about the car. Cause this ain't just black paint all over it. So we're in the process of the craziest vinyl wrap that we've ever done. And it's on this Aston Martin Vantage right behind me. Let's take a closer look. They actually wrapped Gordon's entire car in suede. <laughs> you know, the same material that's on every frat boy's shoes. But matching with them turned Gordon's car waterproof and someone poured water on it just to prove it. So it got me wondering, like, how the hell does this thing even get cleaned? Let me show you guys. So you guys grab a whole bunch of these. This is a lint roller. You grab a couple guys and you lint roll the whole entire car to get all those little fuzzy things off. Now lint rolling a car is crazy. And so is the car's price tag, 120,000. But what if I told you Zach Levine spent even more on something that not only glows in the dark, he's gonna give it to one of you guys watching the video. These keys right here, man, they're all yours. Now Zach's car started off all white, but eventually driving something that plain had him realizing it was time to get it customized. Zach got his entire car wrapped just to match his team colors on the bulls. It was covered in matte black with red accents all around that actually glow, which obviously looks cool during the day. But at night, <laughs> this car glows in the dark. <laughs> all right, now his BMW i8 is on another level. But the craziest part about it is that this car could be yours. Cause with March Madness happening, Zach issued a challenge that if anyone guessed a perfect bracket, he'd surprise him with the whip. Here's the deal. Nobody gets a perfect bracket. But if you do happen to pull it off, you get the custom car. Rims, custom. Vent, that's custom. Yeah, custom. These keys right here, man, they're all yours. Perfect bracket, I wanna see it. <laughs> He's really willing to give you a car for free, even though it cost him 160,000. But Damian Lillard definitely ain't giving his car away, cause it cost him so much, he literally made it the cover of his album. Pulling up in a Bentley is something pretty much every rapper brags about. And seeing his dame's half rapper, half baller, he had to blow hella dollars on a couple Bentleys. The first one was an Oreo colored Bentley Continental and Oh my god, man. I can't even lie. This thing is clean. No wonder why Dame filmed the music video with it. But things aren't always so black and white with Dame. And only one Bentley definitely wasn't enough. All because Dame's rap career was taken off quickly, not only did he plan on dropping an album, he copped one of the fastest and one of the most expensive SUVs in the world just to put it on his album cover. This is a Bentley Bentayga. But I'ma be real, man. That paint job is some ass. All brown? Come on, Dame. <sighs> Regardless, Dame loves it so much that he pulls up to games in it, and he even bought his son the exact same one to match. But even though I thought Dame's first Bentley was better, his shit stain, er, I mean, brown Bentega, cost him 200,000 Dame dollars. But Anthony Edwards spent even bigger dollars just to copy KSI. All right, listen, man, there's no way you haven't seen KSI's Lamborghini. It's gone viral plenty of times. Even his song about it racked up over 100 million views. And cause his whip looked like it literally came out the movie Tron, it inspired our boy Anthony to get his regular blacked out Lambo to the shop and get an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I see why Anthony was so hyped about this thing. Blacked out Forgiato rims, blue all over the interior, and an all blue wrapper with reflective trim, this thing had the exact same type of Tron looking paint job as KSI's. But Anthony's Lambo was definitely more serious than that. Cause not only did it have him always matching his fits with his whip, just driving it around made him feel untouchable. And that's why he wasn't scared to pull up in it and start yelling things that were controversial. Queer ass niggas, man. Now, all right, obviously just talking like that in 2024 could get someone canceled. Anthony was stupid enough to post it though. So once the NBA saw, and cause they're super strict about players using offensive and derogatory language on social media, cause of their rule, they forced Anthony to apologize and find him $40,000. Now, all right, even though his mouth cost him that much money, his Urus itself cost him six times as much, 250,000. But even adding both of those expenses up, it's nothing compared to what Hassan Whiteside bought. And honestly, I don't even know how this dude's car is legal. It can literally survive gunshots. A car that protected was needed just cause the weather in Utah would get pretty ridiculous. Hassan needed something that could survive literally anything. So even though he already had a couple normal Jeeps, he literally turned one into a monster truck. Thousands of hours were spent customizing this thing. Not only did it get an upgraded suspension, they added spotlights on the hood, a paint job that's designed to be scratch, dent, and even bullet resistant. 
Nissan also got the engine replaced just to get more power with a Hellcat engine. Now, we ain't even gonna talk about the fact that it has six wheels. I'm sure you can see that. But even though this thing is technically called a Jeep Sahara Hellfire, Hassan gave it the nickname Big Shirley, all cause she's big and good looking like a country mama. Now, alright, that's not like any Big Shirley's I know, and they definitely don't cost 330000 like Hassan's whip did. But I still can't believe Jimmy Butler spent a half million dollars on a car he lied about. Now, Jimmy used to act like he was humble by only getting into minivans. And even though it was a good time whenever he'd whip them around, it is my new Toyota Sienna, first of all. I should have took off on you, run over your toes on my way out. Give me some. No. All right. <laughs> Swank is bad, baby. Sit back and relax, we're on the road. My, not our, my Toyota Sienna. Dude was never gonna be taken seriously pulling up in this. I mean, he's a millionaire basketball player, not a struggling soccer mom. Luckily, Jimmy had his eyes on an upgrade for a while, and he went test driving. How heavy is this car? I think this car is close to 6,000 pounds. Man, super smooth riding. I just like, like all the gadgets, and I think the best part is I don't know how to use any of it, but eventually I have to learn how to use all the. I like it though, like it's spacious. I mean, I'm 6'7", it rides great, looks nice, can't complain. This car really does get a lot of attention. Like literally, look, everybody's looking in here. <laughs> and after glazing the car enough, eventually Jimmy pulled the trigger by copping himself a Rolls Royce Phantom. But I don't think he actually would have if he knew how expensive it was to maintain or what the car even was. This is high rate robbery, man. I'm trying to get some of this gas back. Yeah. Hey, you think if I go in there and tell them that I put the wrong gas in here, they'll give me a refund? Huh. This is crazy. I'm going electric. Can y'all believe it costs? $145 to fill up a Bugatti? Like, this is crazy, Avery, you feel me? Unheard of, man. Bugattis, man. Man's really had double R's on the steering wheel and thought it was a Bugatti. <laughs> this is a Bugatti, man. Dude tricked the entire world saying he had one of those. So headline after headline came out claiming dude had the same car as Andrew Tate. But, all right, a car like that costs millions, and it's something another player has later on. Jimmy is not that special, and besides, a lot of players around the league have Rolls Royces. They only cost 400000 but there's not a single player in NBA history other than J.R. Smith who owns a vehicle that can survive a zombie apocalypse. There's not many vehicles out there that can survive something like that happening. But J.R. must have watched a little too much Fast and Furious, or played a bunch of GTA heists. Because what I saw in both of those, a Teradyne Gurkha armored military vehicle, is what reports came out saying JR was whipping around the city. <laughs> and this thing's basically a tank. It can drive through water, it's got indestructible tires, bulletproof glass, armor that can survive shots from a 50 cal sniper, and it can even survive explosions from an RPG. Now, I don't know who the hell JR is beefing with to need something like that. Either way, this thing is literally marketed as an SUV that could survive anything, even a zombie apocalypse. I guess if the world comes to an end, JR can rely on his armored truck that costs 450,000. 450 k uh, Hold up a sec, I gotta call JR about this one. Hey, JR, I heard you spent a whole lot of cash, but you're still ass. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to Shea Gilgis Alexander, his secret is something he should have kept in the closet. Cause he bought an even more expensive car that was inspired by the outfits he wears. Brother, ugh. Not those fits. See, Shea sometimes has drip when he wears one of the most expensive brands in the world, Louis Vuitton. He's been seen rocking Louis sunglasses, scarves, jackets, pants, multiple bags, man even wears furry Louis boots, and sometimes his entire fit is based on his favorite brand. That suit is Emran Potato Louis Vuitton suit. Love the suit, obviously, super loud. And then once I knew I was going that loud all over my body, I just wore white sneakers, keep it clean, white t-shirt, um, and let the suit talk for itself. Most of the time I mix it up, I think with this one, at that day I was feeling myself, so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna just go loud with this one. But Louis Vuitton wasn't only on his body. It's a part of his most expensive car. All cause a legendary fashion designer who always worked with that brand, Virgil Abloh, was helping Mercedes design one of the rarest cars in the world until he sadly passed away. But Mercedes wanted to bring his masterpiece to life regardless of how long it took. And eventually, with a black obsidian paint job on top and a sand painted bottom, this is the Virgil Abloh Mercedes Maybach which matches the iconic brown color scheme of Louis Vuitton products. On the inside of the car is where things get even crazier though. 
The Dash damn near has two iPads on it, speakers that pop out if you're bumping music, automatic doors, and lights that make it look like you're driving a UFO. There's even a badge in the center that proves how rare the car actually is. This is one of only 150 in the entire world. So alright, no wonder why Shay is only one of a few celebrities who own this car. Besides, this whip cost them 500000 but alright, that's light money to the player who spent even more on his car, just to predict his future. Spencer Dinwiddie has bounced around teams throughout the entire NBA, but there was one squad he always wanted to be a part of, the Lakers. And their colors, yellow and purple, are obviously things the organization definitely has a lot of pride in. So Dinwiddie wanted to do something to get him to notice him. He took a trip to a Ferrari factory to customize his dream car, just for the Lakers. And eventually when the world found out he was buying a brand new Ferrari Pista, it matched the Lakers colors perfectly. When fans saw his whip out in public, of course he went viral for pulling up to a game in it. But people should have realized, uh, dude was playing for the Mavericks at the time. And just looking at their logos, their jerseys, uh, those colors are definitely not purple and yellow. And I guess that's why right after he was representing a different team, the Mavericks traded him away. Now even though that didn't get Dinwiddie to his dream team yet, the Lakers kept their eyes on him because they respected what he did. And eventually when they got their first chance to sign him, they did. All because of his car, he was officially a Laker. So I don't know what's crazier. The fact that dude's car changed his entire future, or the fact that the whip cost him 600000 But either way, listen, I am tired of talking about cars that are only hundreds of thousands. Let's level up to the millions. And Ben Simmons' car didn't only top that, he only spent that much to copy LeBron James. LeBron's been driving a lot of cars in his life, but he recently made what many called automotive history by copying a supercar that was so rare, people film him every time it's on the street. <laughs> Ironically, that whip came out of a video game. It was one of the hardest cars to unlock in Need for Speed, but LeBron got his Porsche 918 Spider customized. It's all black with highlighter yellow accents, it's got a custom King license plate, and this thing's got three engines. So no wonder why LeBron posted up with it during photo shoots, just a flex. But someone who definitely saw those pics was Instagram diva himself, Ben Simmons. He always looked up to LeBron. I mean, the two have bonded, LeBron's been his mentor, and Ben's always wanted to follow in his footsteps. Or skid marks? Maybe that's why Ben's bought car, after car, after car, after car. He probably thought having all of those would make him actually good at basketball like LeBron. But, spoiler alert, they didn't. Regardless though, Ben saw all the attention LeBron got for the Porsche. So not only did he need that, he also had a need for speed. Cause not only did Ben cop the exact same car as LeBron, he upgraded it just to make it a special edition with carbon fiber that makes the whip lighter, allowing him to zoom faster. <laughs> now that's a bronze sexual if I ever seen one, and I just hope being a copycat was worth it. The car cost him over a million dollars. But as much as I want to roast Ben for doing something like that, I never thought a car three times more expensive would get an NBA player clown so badly. That's what happened to Dennis Schroeder after some intense contract negotiations. Cause even though dude was not that good at basketball, he randomly wanted a deal to give him enough money to last multiple lifetimes. The Lakers were already being over generous, offering him 84 million, but Dennis declined that to try to get more. Now, all right, not only did Lakers management think dude was tripping, no other teams felt dude was worth anything near an amount of money like that. As time went on, no offers were coming in, and eventually Dennis was forced to accept a deal worth only 6 million. <laughs> now, that's still millions at the end of the day, but just looking at what he got compared to what he was offered, uh, man's fumbled the bag so hard. After that, it seemed like the entire world started clowning his big mistake, but everyone flaming him eventually got even worse. After Schroeder spent literally half of his entire contract on one of the most expensive cars in the world. Alright man, this is one of the craziest cars any athlete in the world owns. It's one of the quickest too. It can go 0-60 to 60 faster than almost any car, and can even hit over 250 miles an hour. Schroeder's blue ball Bugatti Chiron wasn't just a purchase for him though. He wanted to flex on everybody with pics of it on the ground. <laughs> And the funniest part is, in the caption, he encouraged people to keep torching his ass. Which, as you can see, most people did. Now, alright, dude's used to getting clowned. I mean, he used to have a haircut like this. But, in the end, it's just crazy that dude spent $3 million on a car. And it didn't even put him on top of the NBA's car game. Cause just when you think cars can't possibly get more expensive, the crown belongs to Michael Jordan. 
after he cemented himself as the GO again. He instantly became a king of the streets when one of his cars became the most expensive that any players ever owned. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't even know if it's street legal. His thing could fly faster than an airplane takes off. It's made of all carbon fiber and is built with specific aerodynamics to cut through the wind even faster. That's why it's got thousands of horsepower and can race nearly 300 miles an hour. It literally set the record as the fastest streetcar in the world. And we all know how Jordan loves making history. His Hennessy Venom put him on top of the NBA's car game when it cost him $5 million. But you want to know who's driving something even crazier? The NBA's referees. And they're ruining the NBA with horrible calls. From refs making players purposely injure themselves to making calls that are so bad, it literally lost the player 35 bands. Uh, all that's in here, in this video, right here. Hey, hey, I'm waiting on you, man. I'm trying to go over there. I don't know what you're doing, man. Are you going to click it or not? Hey, click it.